everybody, welcome back to The Sound of the Breeze. I'm your host, Brianna, and today I'm with my mother, Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi, everybody that's watching. It's been a long time since we've made a podcast. I think it was before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, time goes by pretty quick around here sometimes, huh? Yes. Yeah. So today we are going to be talking about the fruits of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. So in Galatians 5, 22 through 23, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So what do you think about that scripture? Well, if you have the fruits of the Spirit, if you have those fruits, you'll walk by faith. You'll walk in Jesus Christ because the fruits of the spirit there, there's no, there's no law against it. Mm -hmm. You're going to do what the Bible says. Yeah. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, long suffering. And that that's a big one right there. The long suffering, you know, you have to remember that not everybody has walked as many miles maybe that you have. Or maybe they're having a rough day. You know, there's an old saying out there, don't judge a person until you walk the mile in their moccasins. Mm -hmm. You know, until you know what they've gone through that day, you might have to do some long suffering. Yeah. You know, and and then come back together. Or, or, or if you're with that person and they're kind of upset or they're not doing real good, you know, encourage them. Say, can I help you with something today? You know, is there something that you would like to share with me that might help you get through what you're going through? Or would you like me to just pray with you? Mm -hmm. You know, um, but long suffering is one of the fruits of the spirit. Right. And gentleness. Then you have goodness and faith, meekness, temperance. Don't get angry and Lash, Lash out. out. Yeah. It said you can get angry with somebody. You can be upset with somebody, but sin not. That means don't take it to the next level where uh, you're lashing out at them or you're um, saying unkind words to them because yeah. words hurt. And words are hard for a person to get out of their brain, out yeah. of their head, you know. And so... Um, Anytime that you get upset with somebody, the, the thing I have found, the best thing that I have found is to take time. Take time out for yourself. Get alone with God. Mm -hmm. Pray. Ask him, what should I say? What should I do, Lord? Mm -hmm. You know? And I've had to learn that through the years with my children. My own children that I adore. I love my children. And I would get angry with them. And it would be to the point where, wait a minute, this isn't of God. Right. I don't need to be this angry. Yeah. And I would get alone with the Lord and I'd say, help me, Jesus. Right. The Bible says that um, where envying and strife is, there's confusion and every evil work. You can't have envy or strife in your life without asking God to forgive you and, and trying to get it under the blood. And so when you have a bad temper, you need to get alone with the Lord mm -hmm. and have him change you. Get mm -hmm. get rid of that angry. That temper. That temper. You don't want to lash out at anybody. And you don't want to lash out at your children. Um, parents, if there's something that I can really stress to you, if you're that angry where you're going to lash out at them, and I mean actually beat them or, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, I, I've just seen just so much, or screaming at them or, or whatever, you and, and you're trying to follow the Lord's will and, and um, do what the Lord wants you to do, you need to take some time out. Yeah. You know, if you have to take and put your child in time out for a little bit and say, you sit here. And mama will be right back or daddy will be right back. But, and you go away and you pray just five or 10 minutes. You can calm yourself down. 
I don't. And God will calm you down to the point where you can go out mm -hmm. and you can talk to your child. Right. And, you know, correct them in the proper way. You know, that's, I mean, and whatever works for them. It might be, they might be crying by the time you get back. And say, Mommy, I, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, and forgive your child. You know, because they need to be forgiven too. You can say to them, it doesn't hurt to tell them. Mommy right. forgives you. Right. Yeah. Well, now we're going to talk about the spiritual gifts. Did we cover all of them? We covered the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. But now we're going to go on to the spiritual gifts. And this is found in 1 Corinthians 12, starting in verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore I give you to understanding that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth, calleth Jesus accursed, and that no man say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Now these are the diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are difference of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are div diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit withal. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and self same spirit, mm -hmm. dividing to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one, it hath many members, and all the members of the that and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or, or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. For that body is not one member, but many. Mm -hmm. And then it goes on to... If the foot shall say, because I'm not a hand, and you guys can read that, the rest of that. Right. But today we're going to cover the gifts of the Spirit. Right. So, as we saw here, in verse 8, we have wisdom. And in James, it tells us to ask for it. He gives it liberally to all men who ask. Ask for wisdom. He'll give it to you. Right. And it comes from the Spirit. And that's that's important. Wisdom is very important. Right. Make wise decisions. And the next one is knowledge. And I feel like wisdom and knowledge just go hand in hand. But they are different. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is like being wise. But then a knowledge about something is is learning. You can it's actually learning, yeah. go to school. If we all know you go to school and you learn about things, you become knowledge in that subject. Where wisdom, when it comes from the Lord, He gives you wisdom. It's it's like, uh, don't do that type of thing, mm -hmm. you know. And or or He moves on your heart. Don't say that, mm -hmm. you know. And you say, oh. right, you know, and you don't say it. Now you might be able to say it at a different time and it'll 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 work. Right place at the right, right time. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because you can say something that's all right. It, it's it's right Bible. It it uh you know that you know you read it in the word of God, but if it's at the wrong timing and the Lord pricks your heart and says, Don't say that right now. Right. The next part is to another faith. We know we all need faith. We all have faith in Jesus Christ when right. we receive him as our personal Savior. But we need, That's by faith. Right, we but know. we need that gift of faith to have more belief, maybe? 
but not not in the salvation wise, but like with different circumstances. Yeah, I think you about have the faith man, in it. The man that traveled to Jesus and he said, I believe, but help my unbelief. He had faith that Jesus could do it. Right. But any doubt that he had in his heart, he asked the Lord, but help my unbelief. Right. You know, and people will say, well, if you believe, you believe. Mm -hmm. But there still might be a little doubt of something. And you need to ask Jesus, help my unbelief, Lord. Right. To another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. To another, the working of miracles. I think those go hand in hand, too. Because it's miraculous when somebody is healed. It's a miracle. It's also a miracle when somebody is saved. Yes. It's a miracle when a baby's born. There's lots of miracles. Lots of miracles. What was the other one that you said went hand in hand with it? Uh, healing. Healing. We'll see. But when a baby's born, that's a miracle. Yes. They are different, but they can go hand in They're, hand. They are hand in hand. Yes. To another miracle. prophecy. Yeah. To another discerning of spirits. Yeah. Then divers of tongues. And then the interpretation of tongues. Yeah. And then verse 11 says, But all these worketh that one and self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. Amen. So Amen. they're available for us, Christians. Yes. The gifts of the spirit is available to us. Yes. The fruits of the spirit is in our life if we're Christians. If yes. you don't have the fruits, then you're of a corrupt tree. Yep. If you have corrupt fruit you're from a corrupt tree which means you're not a christian but jesus said we'll know people by their fruits yeah because can a fig tree my brethren bear olive berries right. i think right. is what james says right. or how about fresh yeah. water come out of bitter water fountain fountain yeah yeah fresh water and bitter water don't come out of the fountain at the same time right no. it doesn't come it from doesn't. the same source so we need, so I, I feel like the fruits of the Spirit we automatically have when we're Christians. Yes. But the we gifts of the Spirit are something we can continue to strive for yeah. and have. Because there's certain <laughs> things that are in this list that I need to grow, grow in. I like to, I like to say grow because yeah. um, when I became a Christian years ago, to now, I hope I've done some growing up mm -hmm. with my Christianity, right. my, my walk with Christ. I hope I learned to shut my mouth when he told me to, mm -hmm. when he tells me to. You know, I hope I, I want to, I want to be respectful right. to the Holy Spirit, to the Lord. I want to be respectful. And so my prayer on a daily, on a daily basis is to draw closer to him. And every word that comes out of my mouth, let it edify you, Lord. I want it to edify God. If it doesn't edify him, I don't want to say it. And going along with that, dropping down to verse 28, it talks about, in the same chapter that we were just reading, but in 28, it talks about how God orchestrates people like it says, and God hath set some in the church, first apostles, mm -hmm. secondary prophets, yep. thirdly teachers, after the that miracles, the then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret. But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. Yep. So I think that's important to also know that with the gifts, there are certain people that are set in God's church to do certain things. Yeah. Oh, yes. And it's so... Not everyone's called to be a, a shepherd. Right. And not everybody can be a hand or a foot or an eye. But where you're at. But we're in the same body. That's yes. the important part. And you can find all that in this chapter. It talks about yep. the hand and the foot and all that. 
Yes. So that's 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Yes. And wherever God puts you, do it with all your might. Right. You know, do it with everything that's in you. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe you're just this little bit of pinky, you know, in the, body but without, of in the body of Christ. But without that, it can't function right. Your hands don't function very right. Now, can they function? Yeah, you can move your other fingers. But it's really, you use your pinky a lot. Yeah. You grab things with it. You know, it might be it might be your just one of your toes, but lose a toe and you have to learn how to walk a little different. Yeah. You know, because there could be some stumbling. You know, so every part of the the body of Christ is important. Right. Every yeah. part. Yeah. There is nothing that's not important. Right. We're all important. We're all children of the King when right. you serve Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. So I hope this podcast was encouraging to you guys. Remember that you can desire earnestly for the best gifts. Keep growing in the Lord and you will get closer to him and you will see him using you with those gifts. He'll give you those gifts because God is willing to give us the gifts. Yeah. We are the <coughs> ones that have to be willing to let him give it to us, right. just like salvation. You know, when, when Paul said that about, um, you know, uh, earnestly seek the, the best gifts, we have to remember that they're all in one, one same spirit. Right. So we need to desire all of them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, yeah, that's how I feel about it. No. They're all in the same one spirit. And how do you say which one is better than the other? Right. They're from him. They're from the spirit. They're all good. They're all so, good. And I think that's what Brother Paul was trying to tell us. Yeah. Go after them. Desire. Desire them. them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for watching The Sound of the Breeze or listening to The Sound of the Breeze because this is on my podcast. If you're listening or if you're watching... Thank you. Yes. So thank you for watching and listening to the sound of the breeze. Yes. God bless you. Bye. <laughs> That's my... You have Bye. To... Bye. <laughs>